As our memories of 9-11 are stirred on this day every year, we are reminded that people across East Tennessee witnessed firsthand the way New York City responded to the attacks. And reporter Gabrielle Hayes joins us with more from a Morristown man who documented the recovery effort. Gabrielle? Well, John, this is a picture of Jason Pack flying over NYC only two days after 9-11. He would spend the next six weeks of his life filming the recovery and later a lifetime remembering what happened. Morristown native Jason uh, Pack went from watching 9-11 unfold on TV to this. In the middle of one of the biggest things that's ever happened in the country in the middle of New York City. Pack was a part of a FEMA team dispatched to document the recovery, a moment he remembers vividly. It's just kind of a surreal moment. And will never forget. Seen it on television and then you get there and words just can't describe what you see. Over the course of those six weeks, Pack would see a lot from the depths of Ground Zero. I didn't know about all the tunnels in New York City under the buildings. And to places where it felt as if the world came to a pause. The world did stop turning for a while there. He experienced that firsthand, mainly when he came face to face with those affected. Just having family members run up to you with the posters of their family members say, have you seen this person? Have you seen this person? Have you seen my mom? Have you seen my dad? Have you it was during those interactions he'd realized the world had changed and the entire nation would feel it. It changed everybody's life forever. As a person behind the lens, he felt that too. How could it not? 18 years after tragedy, Pack says he's seen gleams of hope. Well, even though these are the worst of times, you see the best of people come out in all, everything. It's a period of our history, he says, we must never forget. But it's important to remember the uh, men and women who gave their lives that day and the people every day that you don't see or hear about that go out and answer the call to, for help every day. Now, PAC's team included about nine people, and he credits efforts to capture the recovery to every single one of them. John? We appreciate his perspective, Gabrielle. Thank you.